All right, so the farfalle, this pasta, uh, is done boiling. Uh, we want it to where it's a little bit before al dente because we're going to bake it, so we don't want it to become mushy. Farfalle is the Italian word for butterfly. This is also known as bow tie pasta, but you can use any pasta you want to. I just really enjoy this shape and how it works with the sauce and everything else that we're going to use today. Make sure you save a little bit of your pasta water because it's really nice to add to your sauce. So I added a tablespoon of oil to my preheated pan and I'm going to caramelize some onions. I know some of you hate onions, but you know, bear with me. You should try this America's Test Kitchen hack that I have where you add baking soda to your minced onions. What the baking soda does is break down the cell walls or the membrane, cell wall membranes, and um, makes it where the onions break down a lot easier until they disappear into your sauce or whatever you're cooking. Uh, this is a great thing that I learned from their Sloppy Joe recipe. But I would highly suggest it if you really like the flavor of onions, but you really hate the texture. And just because I have to keep on preaching about eating different foods and trying stuff that you might have not liked or doing it a different way, because uh, eating your food is the best way to get nutrition into your body. That's what it best recognizes versus supplements and pills. It's going to process it a lot better. But I want to tell you some of the benefits of onions, okay? They have antioxidants, help reduce blood sugar levels, improve digestion, lots of nutrients, anti-inflammatory properties, uh, keeps certain cancers at bay, reduces the risk of Alzheimer's disease, and it's a great source of vitamin C. So if that's not a reason to try them out and try that little hack, I don't know what is. Now I'm adding one to two teaspoons of Italian seasoning to the mixture. 3 teaspoons garlic powder, 2 teaspoons chili flakes, this is totally optional, it's up to you, but we like things a little spicy over here. Now add 2 teaspoons minced garlic to your pan, you can add more, you can add less, and then just mix it up nicely. Now you can add a half a cup to a cup of whatever vegetable you want to, this is kale from my garden last year. This is the point where you're going to add in your favorite pasta sauce, 16 ounces. You don't want to do too much so that the casserole holds up. I'm using some sauce that I homemade from my garden tomatoes that I froze. And I'm also going to add a little bit of the leftover pasta water. Then we're going to stir it together and let it simmer for a bit. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm using a small 9-inch cast iron pan because I'm only using half the box of pasta. Lightly oil your pan. Now grab your drained pasta and you're going to add your sauce mixture to your pasta and make sure you mix it thoroughly. We're going to get this ready for our next step where we're going to start layering this in our pan. Now you're going to put your pasta mixture into your prepared pan and only put half of the mixture because we're going to put some shredded mozzarella cheese right on top and then we're going to add our last layer of pasta onto that nice and even so none of it's sticking out of the pan we want it to not be bubbling out of it while it's baking in the oven now that our first layer is done we're going to do our last layer and that's going to be some more mozzarella cheese right on top of your last layer of pasta and uh, this is another thing that you can customize if you're not into mozzarella use gouda use cheddar whatever you're feeling you do what you do this is your food <laughs> Now place your pan into your prepared oven and you're going to bake it from anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes until cheese is nicely melted. That's simple for casserole. I hope you try it and you love it.